हे गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री यूटिलिटी टाइप्स प्रोवाइडेड बाई टाइप स्क्रिप्ट विच विल बी ओमेट पिक एंड पार्शल द फर्स्ट वन दैट वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इज पार्शल सो इन सिंपल टर्म्स पार्शल अलाउज यू टू मेक ऑल ऑफ योर ऑल ऑफ योर पेरेंट टाइप प्रॉपर्टीज ऑप्शनल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स create a function which will update our user settings and i will demonstrate how the partial will work so for example we have this user right so we have a interface uh, called user name uh, which have name age interest settings dob and password then in inside this user interface we have a property called settings which is also uh, you know take a interface as a type which is user settings and user settings have three required properties called theme colors and notifications and track location so imagine we want to update this user setting and we want to create a function to update this user setting so let's create a function so i'm going to do const uh, update settings and what it's going to do is is going to take a parameter or an argument as the settings to update like whatever settings we want to update and let's define it uh, let's define this type as user settings for now and this outputs a new user and yeah so this is a function let's also define our user so i'm going to define a dummy user here so i'm just going to say dummy user and the type will be user equal to so let's define a name um manoj and then say age 24 right then let's define interest you know it will be a array of strings so i can define like programming right pro programming right uh, then we can define settings so settings will be three things which will be theme color so let's say red here um then there will be send notification let's it's a boolean so let's define a true track location let's define this as false now dob so let's just say new date here because it's a date type and then we have password you know and uh, we can just say maybe hello here all right so we defined our url uh not url but we defined our user so now let's try to update this user all right so what we're going to do is um we're going to copy the user for now right and we're just going to say this is of type user i'm just going to create a copy right and written this user copy okay so now let's uh, uh, you know update the setting so what we we are going to do is we'll just going to say user copy dot settings equals to or we can do something like this user copy equal to triple dot user copy you know get all the property of the user copy then in settings get all the remaining uh, you know like all the you know settings and then the new settings that we are providing right so it will override the other settings from the previous like the the previous settings of the user right and just return so let's run this function i'll see how it works so what we are going to do is uh, update setting function settings to update so now i have to because the type is user settings i have to provide all these three things right so i'm just going to copy and paste this and instead uh, i'm just going to say blue and then i'm just going to say boolean to you know let's just keep it true and also do the track location to true right uh, let's convert them to commas and then console dot log the you know whatever uh, user that we get so cons updated user equal to this 
and then we just say console.log updated user we click on run and you can see right the settings are theme color send notification true and the track location true uh are pre like the previously it was red and the track location was false but there is one catch there so imagine you don't want always want to update your uh like pass all the settings right like uh, i right now i have to like pass all the three things imagine if you only want to pass theme color and if you just uh do this it will uh throw an error that because you know user settings have like all of these required right so here we can use partial so what partial do is what i, I can do is here i can say the settings to update can be of type partial and then provide the type basically you know and the error will go the reason being what partial do is it takes all the property of your parent type and make all of them optional all right and so now i can only provide one thing and it will still work so if i click run here the track location will stay false but the theme color will change to blue so this is partial you know it will allow you to help when you want to make all of uh, you know your parent type property partial right they will optional become optional all right so this is partial now let's talk about omit all right so imagine you want to send this data to you know to maybe front end imagine this is a back end code and now you want to send it to front end and you don't want the password uh, and now you want to define the type of your response all right and you don't want the password to go there so what we can do is so let's define a function here let's remove all of this and let's define a function which says send to fe all right front end and you know the output type of it let's keep it user so it will like uh, you know return a user right and just say return uh maybe say dummy user right and let's console it so i'll just going to do console.log send to fe execute this function and let's just say run and you'll see you know it will it returns all of the user but the problem is we don't want the password uh, we don't want the password to be present in the response right it can be a security breach right so we we want to omit the password but the problem with that is if i go and you know i like define a new uh, user here so let's say const user copy and what i did what i do is define its type as user as well and say you know uh, get all the property from the user so what i'm going to do is just this const so i'm going to extract all the property from the user say i'm going to extract name let's do something like this uh no You know uh, something like this extract this as well extract dob extract password from dummy user all right so i extracted all of this and then now i want to paste all of this here and then send the user copy right the only thing is i don't need the password right but the problem is if i remove the password then user copy will say you know you need the password right you need uh, the password because password is you know like required you know and that's the return basically that's the return uh, type right here uh, the function will return the user type so we don't want the password right so what we can do is just omit take the you know parent type and say remove the password and as we do it you know if we just you know uh, what we can do is we can define this outside because i want to use it in two places so i can just say uh, type user without password all right and just say this and this is the return policy basically right So now you can see right uh, i now we don't have to use the user type 
right? So we can use the omit and omit the password. And then, uh, you know, it will only like if I console it now, then the password will not be there and our typings are, uh, you know, perfect as well. So now we don't have to uh, use the user as the response type, right? So we, we define our own response type using password. Uh, maybe, you know, we don't also don't want to send like the date of birth, maybe that's sensitive, right? So what, so we can omit it as well. So we can just do this or thing and just say DOB, remove the DOB. So now it says DOB is not required. It doesn't exist. So now if I run it, you know, the log will be there and our typings are perfect as well. So this was omit. Now let's talk about the last type, which is pick. You know, so pick is kind of like omit of the uh, like opposite of the omit. So for example, we want to send only name and age now uh, name and age to the front end and we have to define the response type for that. So what we're going to do is so type um, only name and age. So this is our type name, which is not a good one. But yeah, I mean, this is just for example. So only name and age and what we're going to do is pick from user only name, only name and age. So now it will only pick name and age and uh, what we can do is, for example, we create another function called send to fe, just, you know, we'll just call it send. And we'll say, you know, it's written type is only name and age and uh, right. So user with password, right? So now what we have to do is we have to do this. And yeah, so now if I try to define like another property called maybe password, it will not allow me to do that, right? Because even if I say this, it will not allow me to do it because it says is not assignable type only image. Uh, object literal may only specify known property. Password does not exist in type only name and image because you know, we picked the name and age only. So now I can only define name and age, uh, you know, here. And if I console it, run it. Uh, there's another console, right? Yeah, so just call this here, right? And if I run this, then you will be able to see uh, name and age only, right? And if I try to define anything else, for example, interest maybe here, then it will throw an error, right? That uh, this is not allowed, you know, because you only pick two type from this. So yeah, guys, this is, uh, you know, the util some of the utility types provided by TypeScript. A partial allows you to make all of your properties optional, you know, so it's good for like, you know, uh, getting data or input uh, for the input, the data from, you know, uh, any function, taking the data basically. And omit is basically, you know, it will omit the properties that you provide. So maybe, you know, if you want to remove some of the properties from the type and use all of the other properties, then omit is useful and pick is useful when you only want to define a type with certain property of the parent type, you know, so if in our case, it is name and age. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. I will see you in the next video. All right.